switch over to college athletics, specifically college football, because that is the focus of our podcast here. And and as we promised the listeners, we would have a few off-season pods. Um, this is a little bit of a grab bag. You know, we'll we'll go over some of the uh, you know the futures once they're more publicly available. Um, and then we'll eventually go through like each conference and, and give out some teams that we think should be or kind of under the radar um, in terms of their uh, odds in the futures market. But here we're just going to talk about some, uh, some some pressing topics in my mind. Are you ready for like kind of a grab bag pod here, Tony? Uh, oh, yeah. Press it. OK. So if you recall. Uh, there was a little baby chance that Mike Gundy uh, was going to be fired this year. You know, he wore that OAN T-shirt, caught a lot of flack. There was some, uh, there was some rumors that he said the N-word um, as an assistant coach back in, back in the day. So, so after winning the national championship so convincingly, winning, what, six now national championships, uh, Coach Saban? Uh, is there any scenario, I was wondering to myself, is there any scenario where he could get fired? In particular, is there any scenario where he could get fired for doing something racist? Now, obviously, if there was video of Nick Saban, like, saying the N-word or doing, like, a Hail Hitler salute, they would probably have to fire him. So I wondered, what's the most racist thing that Nick Saban could get away with and not be fired for. Tony, what what do you what do you think that could possibly be? What's the most deplorable, <laughs> disgusting, racist thing that Nick Saban could get away with and not be fired? What what was the quotation from the Houston Texans owner back when like the players on Houston were complaining about safety or some shit? He was like, you can't let the inmates run the asylum. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that. It was like it was more racist than that. I forget what it, that quotation. You can't let the inmates run the ship. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. Um. Yeah. You like that. Like, listen, them boss is mine. Actually, yeah, he could say them boss is mine. He could say them boss is mine, <laughs> uh -huh. and they would not fire him. That's my. Uh that's pretty darn racist in my estimation. Wow, I think it could be way more racist. So number you one, I. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he on. could he could be he could number one reenact like a civil war battle and dress up as a Confederate soldier. I think that's mm. you could have pictures of him. I think there are a lot of decent white people who do the Confederate reenactments. I'm just saying Perhaps I just not, think not a, mm. I think that's, that's not more as racist. racist as saying them boss is mine. <laughs> like that's well, very racist. Okay, okay, okay. I think if he he there if there was audio of him calling players the N word or a boy, he still wouldn't get fired because it could still be refutable. Like, oh, that wasn't actually Nick Saban. It would oh have God. to be. Some it would guy have is going to have video. to be the fall guy for that. <laughs> that's like that's like getting shot in the face by Dick Cheney. God bless it. Right? Don't you think if there was audio supposedly of Nick Saban saying the N word that <laughs> it would be covered, tried to be covered up as much as possible and it would be denied? Like the University of Alabama would like launch an investigation, but he still wouldn't end up getting fired. It'd have to be a video of him like yelling at someone uh, and saying the N word, right? You know something, by the way, and it would have to be at, it would have to be somewhere in the facility. By all accounts, he is a class act in public. Mm -hmm. mm, you could get audio of him on like a fishing boat say, <laughs> saying something that was uh, pretty oh, disgusting. Oh, that, so that would have to be a class traitor though. Yeah. Yes. He would have, yeah. yeah. That's right, because, yeah, that would be, mm, that seems unlikely, but okay, I'm with you. Well, that's with that's you. maybe someone that goes on the staff and then, you know, becomes a, I don't know, a, an assistant at Tennessee, you know. <laughs> so, I, I think. Mean, at, at, at this point, if anything goes down, he's just going to blame it on Bill O'Brien. So, like, it's pretty much a wrap. I think the most he would, he, I think he could on video call someone boy. 
and he still wouldn't get fired. So I, I think you're, that. yes. Yeah. So you're you're like the the even if he used the term like the slaves have taken over the Amistad, <laughs> like I still don't think he would be fired. That's right. That's yeah. You could literally say that <laughs> this is the Amistad, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, Even, actually, didn't Amistad sink though? I mean, he got six championships. Uh, I don't. So I don't know what happened to the Amistad. Did the Amistad sink? I yeah, I never saw an effing movie. You know? oh. yeah, it's like, I don't. I don't think Steven Spielberg should be making movies like that. I'm glad he stopped with that. Okay, so yeah, I think I think that would he can basically say anything on video except. Except if he uses the N word, right? He could basically say whatever he wanted to. More or less, yeah. What about um, if he gave a Hitler salute? Definitely, uh, definitely not. Only if Trump had retained power, then the Howl Hitlers would be back in style. But mm. at this point, corporate America won't have it. Nike is pulling that sponsorship post haste. <laughs> yeah, Coca Cola would be pulling that sponsorship. But he he does the Hitler sloop, but doesn't say Heil Hitler. So if he so what the <laughs> fuck is going on? He's waving to somebody, but his shoulders hurting. <laughs> He's looking a bit here. Let's say it's a parade for some reason, like a homecoming parade, and Sabin just gives the gives the Hitler salute and like goose steps a little bit. I still don't think he's getting fired then either. Like he, you know, he it could be um, construed as he was, you know, just just trying to wave to the audience and it was it looked he really stumbled awkward. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If if you're if you're given the salute and saying Heil Hitler, then then you got a problem. Mm-hmm. But I think he could Hitler salute and goose step. But th- but it wouldn't be a proper a Hitler parade. salute because it was still plausibly deniable. Yes. It wasn't an unambiguous one. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like, like, you know, you remember, what's her name? The Fox News broad who went out there at the convention and just was Laura like, Kyle Trump. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Laura Ingram, you know, the face for radio going out there, Kyle Trump. Give me a break. What if my my last question here? What if uh, they did an interview with Nick Saban and, and went inside his house, and he collected Nazi the, memorabilia? The coon dolls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God. oh God! No, the coon dolls yeah. would be way worse because like, like, like an iron cross. He's just like, look, I like history. <laughs> Okay, I like history. World War II is interesting to me. Like, that's <laughs> the minstrel dolls. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> no, that would be you know if Alabama didn't fire him, Alabama would catch a lot of hell. Like, yeah, yeah, it would catch a lot of hell. Yeah. It, also, it would depend on how much the talented black players would stand for. Like, would all the talented blacks decommit for that? I like to think they would. Because this this new generation, you know, they're more woke. <sighs> That's tough. I'm I'm sure there's there'd be a lot of scabs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think listen I up. think the, listen I up. Think the you're descendants right. of the blacks who helped out the slave patrols and the lynching mobs are more numerous than the blacks who resisted for obvious reasons. <laughs> so I. <laughs> Yeah, I'd venture to say there would be some horrible scabs. But I like where we're going with this AOC thing. Let's just start making lists of people doing the wrong thing. Let's get more <laughs> lists going. <laughs> so so we're we going to put them, those misguided young brothers, on the list as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the, the, the key takeaway here is the most racist thing that Nick Saban could do is he would have to not see paraphernalia in his house would be fine because he just likes history. But if he had all this like <laughs> blackface minstrel, um, you know, folk art, if you will, um, I'm putting a, a you know a very positive spin on it, then he would most certainly get fired for that. He would be under the most heat, right? Mm. Oh my goodness! If he had some Sam- Sambo posters, right? It would be a firestorm because 
Oh my God. <laughs> you know, it would be real catnip for ESPN. The ESPN editors would be jizzing in their pants for this story. It would be amazing, wall to wall. Okay, I think we've I think we figured it out. So Nazi memorabilia, yes, but minstrel sambo blackface memorabilia art questionable. That's that's the line. Yeah, I want to rule it doubtful. <laughs> yeah.